Virgin Media Ireland is a telecoms provider uh, in the Irish market, so we provide the typical quad play services, broadband, home phone, cable television and mobile phone services. But we're also Ireland's largest commercial TV broadcaster as well, with three free-to-air channels and two subscriber channels uh, exclusive to our own TV platform. My role within Virgin Media is as the Insight and Analytics Director, so I'm essentially responsible for all things data. And I like to think about it as being responsible for how we use data to improve the products and services that we provide to our customers. Some of the challenges that we've had uh, are around the change, the rate of change that's going on within our own business and our ability to be agile with the way that we use data to support the different uh, products, services and operations that go on around the organisation. Um, we've previously worked with our colleagues in our European, pan-European business to deliver central solutions for technology. But as we've progressed, we've realised that we need to be able to be more agile within our own operating business, so we needed to create uh, our own infrastructure for data that we could manage ourselves. Another of the things that's helped us to get started with Snowflake is the, the fact that the platform itself is actually centrally uh, managed and kept up to date. So we've avoided any need to bring in database administrators or a large operational team to look after that infrastructure, um, which often will carry a cost for you uh, along all of the time, rather than just at the times when you actually need it. Um, so that ability to get up running and know that your platform is going to be well maintained um, without carrying that operational cross has been a really, really big benefit to us in getting started. The opportunity that a cloud-based solution would give to us was the ability to start from a relatively small scale without worrying about infrastructure. Um, on top of that, uh, we looked at a number of different solutions that could, that could fit. Um, we ultimately selected Snowflake for a couple of different reasons. One was the cloud agnostic basis for it, which meant that we were able to move it uh, from one cloud area to another if we needed to. Um, but really critical as well was the ability to manage encryption keys ourselves as the, as the customer and make sure that we had control over keeping our customers' data safe um, and that we were able to decide where we wanted to have it stored as well. We specifically chose a greenfield project for the first use case that we were going to deliver within Snowflake so that we could avoid any uh, difficult migration of existing data models from existing infrastructure. The project that we chose to use as our first one was one where we were working with a relatively well understood and well structured data set. And that allowed us to deliver our first reports out of Snowflake within six weeks of reaching agreement and, and signing the legal agreement. What we're seeing within our own organisation is that more of the applications that different parts of our business use are coming now uh, in a software as a service or platform as a service method. And what that means is there's an increasing need for us to be able to share data in secure ways with partner organisations who are going to add this value for us. Um, and we see data sharing as being a much more sensible way of being able to do that securely, but also minimising the amount of operational overhead that we have to put in in order to make sure that all of those data flows work every day.